Okay, I bought it at a used clothing store in Tokyo five years ago, but I don't wear it now. How about an ornamental use? We do not appraise. Well, they obviously don't appraise because these are fake. Stay away. They're currently sitting at $28, but these are probably gonna go for big money, and I feel sorry for whoever gets them. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you join me for another shopping episode. So we're gonna hit up the Japanese auction sites. We'll be looking at Mercari.jp, Yahoo Auctions Japan. And as always, we're using Baiyi as our proxy service. Baiyi is a new sponsor of the channel, so definitely check them out if you haven't used them already. They make buying on these sites a breeze. We're gonna do a whole video on how to use them, but they're pretty awesome. Basically, you go on Baiyi.jp, you pick your auction service, you do your search, you don't have to speak Japanese, anything like that. You can bid, you can order, you can do sniper bids. If you win, it gets sent to them, or it gets sent directly to you, depending on how the auction's set up. Um, when they get it, you pick your shipping service, they handle the custom stuff. All you gotta do is fill that out. And we're gonna do a whole episode on kind of how to, to navigate customs because it is a little tricky coming out of Japan. But I'm telling you, these guys make it easy and I've used them for years. I really like Baiyi. All right, first auction we're gonna check out today is a 1985 Natural Gray Air Jordan. And the reason why I bring these up is they're only $998, buy it now. So that's a really good deal. I'm actually surprised these haven't sold you know, already, but let's check out the pictures. Now, the thing you wanna look for on the natural grays, um, the 85s coming out of Japan, is the hardened soles mainly. For whatever reason, the climate in Japan hardens soles to the 85s sometimes, and the natural grays seem to be they affected by this a little bit more than some of the other colorways. If we look at these soles though, let's just go right to these pictures, um, they look they look soft, I mean, just going by the pictures, because generally when they harden, they get a little shinier. I'm looking at the heel drag, it doesn't seem to be that bad. These look like they have life left in them. So let's check out the rest of it. Um, you know, it's hard to say if the padding is gonna be soft. I would doubt it, I mean, it's an 85 Jordan, but if they would be soft, these would be a heck of a pair to wear. The reason why I'm staying away from them though is, again, the size, seven and a half. It's very common in Japan to have the smaller sizes. But it's seven and a half, that's gonna be tough. You're not gonna have a whole lot of people that'll fit that. And on top of it, it's definitely not gonna fit me. Check out that insole writing though. If we take a look at that, I mean, it's actually still intact. That to me means these didn't get worn a whole lot. I think this is a nice pair. Let's take a look at the description and see if there's anything that jumps out. Um, it's always fun to translate these. So let's select our language and again, Baiyi does all of this for you, but let's look at the uh, English. Nike Air Jordan 1 original, blah, 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 25 and a half centimeters. It will be an old product that has passed more than 30 years. There is deterioration due to aging as a whole. The ankle part is hard, so there we go. In the description right there, we know the padding is a little hard. Please purchase only those who have an understanding of vintage. I think we all do. Uh, it seems it will be shipped the weekend due to work, color, white sneaker type, high top, cuff, string. Okay. All right, so those are definitely, I think, a, a buy if they'll fit you. And let's go on to the next one. All right, next up, we've got a cool one. And this is an OG Reebok Alien Stomper. And the reason why these are even cooler is the condition and they have the box. Uh, they're expensive, uh, very expensive. $2,320.44 or 255,555 yen. That's a lot for these. They're very proud of them. But when are you gonna find an OG Stomper with the box? Size nine, so it's a good size. Oh, check out that label. How cool is that? I love these vintage stompers. Oh my goodness. Uh, one thing I wanna point out though, um, look at the oxidation of the sole. So that's gonna be the left shoe. It looks like that was probably displayed at some point. So it's heavily oxidized compared to the other one. If I got these, I would definitely even that out, but that's pretty easy, especially if you have a light box. Um, all in all, these are really cool. If they were cheaper, I would definitely be buying them, but at 2,300 plus, they're gonna be a pass. All right, next up from Macari, we have a pair of 1985 Dunks, and these things look pretty nice. Um, let's go through the pictures here. I'm looking through, these are size eight and a half, and what's intriguing to these to me is, let's take a look at the collars. Now, generally on the 85 Dunks, if they've been worn, the collars are very brittle and they're actually split. Here's a pair of 85 Dunks that actually I had to restore and these collars were split 
And basically you can fix that. You can use a product called Scotch Weld by 3M. You have to sand them down, respray them. It's a lot of work, but the downside is you can't wear them after you do it. They'll just split again, but they are great to display. These are $1,089 or 120,000 yen. And I think that's probably about market for these at this time because the prices on everything have shot through the roof. The reason why these are gonna be a pass for me is take a look at these soles. They've definitely been messed with. You can tell there's some goop there on the heels. They've probably hardened by the look of it. They're definitely not gonna be wearable regardless, but having a hardened sole like that, that's definitely gonna be a pass. Let's take a look at the description and see if there's anything of note. Uh, it's a very valuable Dunk original. Okay, we know that. I painted Shugu on the sole. There we go. So we know the Shugu. These are gonna be a pass, but definitely cool to see. I like them. All right, next up we have a pair of 1985 or 1986. Let's see, what year are these? Probably 85. Uh, team conventions. Not the convention, but the team convention. Now the team conventions sell for a lot more. This is a team convention here. And they're a lot better looking shoe in my opinion. They really have Air Jordan vibes going on. They're from the same year. But here's the thing with them. They generally have split collars, just like those Nike Dunks. Um, let's take a look at these collars and see what we can find. Okay, so the Nike sign, definitely gonna have to be re-stenciled on them. Not a big deal, pretty easy. Uh, everything's looking good so far. Those are the OG laces. Here we go, look at those collars. They've been repaired on the right shoe. They're completely split and destroyed on the left. No wonder these are $635. If these were in better condition, they'd be over a thousand. These are definitely gonna be a pass, but they're very cool to see. Um, these are getting harder and harder to find, guys, and they're really hard to find at good deals. If these weren't in good condition at $600, they're an Instacop. I mean, I'm telling you, that's a really good price. But with these in that condition, I think it's probably priced right. I'm not sure who's gonna buy them because of that repair on there, but $635, you get what you pay for. Next up from Mercari, we have a pair of 1994 or 1995 Air Jordan breads. This was the first retro, and let's take a look because these things are getting expensive too. Um, these look to be decent, but take a look at the heel there. Uh, there's no sole left on those, so probably needs a sole swap. Now, the 94 and 95 soles have a tendency of when they do wear down, they become hollow. They're a very weird design on there. And so you really can't wear them once they get to a certain point. Now you can sole swap them, but that's a big deal. But these are $414 US or 45,600 yen. That's a good price for a pair of bread 94, 95s. Uh, I think that's probably priced about right. Now, these are gonna be a big undertaking, don't get me wrong, but the uppers are really in good condition, and the only thing that scares me is it looks like the sock liner has a minor tear in it. You could probably patch it, but again, if somebody's gonna wanna wear these, it's risky. That's probably why they haven't sold, but 414 bucks for a shoe that dead stock is selling for thousands. It's a pretty good price. All in all, these are nice. If you're in the market for a 94 and 95, you might wanna check these out, especially if you're a seven and a half. Okay, these are intriguing. Uh, we've got a pair of twos, and if anybody's paying attention to the sneaker world right now, twos are starting to get some hype. Thanks, Virgil. Um, these, obviously, they've seen better days. The soles, the midsoles, and the twos, they're gonna crumble regardless. These are disintegrated. There's not a lot of pictures, there's only two. But here's why these are intriguing to me. They're $454. Um, for a restoration project, I think these might be savable. The only thing that's really concerning to me is, is the plastic area gonna be cracked on there? Because once that's cracked, you can fill it in, but you gotta respray it. It's never gonna look natural. Uh, it's very, very risky, but $454 for a Jordan 2, 1986, <sighs> They're going up in price. They're definitely going up. This is definitely one of those shoes, the silhouettes and the Jordan lineup that has always been frowned upon. Um, the Just Dons were pretty dope, but there's been very little hype around them. Then Virgil came along and with his release coming up, I bet you these things take off and I bet they won't be this price for long. Next up on Yahoo Auctions Japan, we've got a pair of metallic blues and guys, these look nice. This is an auction. Maybe by the time this airs, these will be done. I'm not sure, hopefully not. 13 hours left on them and guys, they look nice. Let's check these out. Now I can tell the soles are a little bit chipped. They're probably gonna be hardened because coming out of Japan, the, the metallics, they're generally hardened, but we don't know for sure. The soles overall look good though. I mean, these are plastic wraps, so it's hard, but look at that metallic. To have a metallic that's that intact, I mean, something like that, 
very rare. Now these will not be wearable because if you wear a metallic like that, it's gonna flake off, it's gonna be done before you know it. But all in all guys, these look like they're in really good condition. They're $1,178.59 or 129,800 yen. That's a really good price in my opinion. Bootleg alert, uh-oh. Okay guys, when I first saw this listing pop up, I got excited because I've been looking for some Shadow 85s for a while. These are really close to my size. But right off the bat, I'm looking at these and they're just red flag after red flag. Normally we run right through those red flags, but we're not gonna do it this time. The toe box perforations. Picture number one, way, way too small. Picture number two, the check. It looks to be the right material, but it's definitely the wrong size. It's definitely the wrong shape. It has more of a retro look to it. Definitely wrong. Um, let's keep going and see what else stands out here. Soles are definitely deteriorating. It's okay though, and that's we notice. Look at the shape of the back. Oh, definitely wrong. We are uh, red flag after red flag again. Um, the font for Air Jordan, that is wrong. Let's see what else we can find here. The stamp doesn't look right either. Definitely bootlegs, definitely fake. Let's look at the description and see what it says. I bought it at a used clothing store in Tokyo five years ago, but I don't wear it now. How about an ornamental use? We do not appraise. Well, they obviously you don't appraise because these are fake. Stay away. They're currently sitting at $28, but these are probably gonna go for big money and I feel sorry for whoever gets them. Okay, how about an 85 bread that has three days left on the auction? It's currently sitting at $90.81 US or 10,000 yen. And why I bring these up is they look to be in really good condition. Let's take a look at these pictures. So if I'm looking through here, everything that I worry about on a bread, these look good. Uh, the padding, if I had to guess, looks like it's pretty supple still. The reason I can tell is generally when the padding is deteriorated or hardened, the, the top will kind of cave in and you can tell where the sock liner is, it's still sitting above it. That generally means the padding's good. Um, these are size eights, so they're a little bit on the small side. One of the collars is still intact though, which is really nice. And take a look at that insole writing. That's right, the insole writing is still there. It's still really intact. That to me means they weren't used that much. Uh, if these go right, oh, look at the soles too. These haven't been used much. If these go at the right price, these are definitely a buy. Uh, they'll clean up really nice with a little crease removal. If you can fit a size eight and you're in the market for a bread, keep an eye on these for sure. Who knows what they'll go for, but they're currently sitting at 90 bucks. They've got the OG laces, they have the OG insoles. Everything's looking good for the upper. Definitely a nice pair. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Again, if you haven't checked out buy.jp, go on there, register. It is a great site. I'll have a link in the description below. They have a proxy service for Yahoo Auction Japan. They have Mercari, they have eBay on some days, some days no, they have Amazon. They're incredibly easy to use. They're very affordable and I highly recommend them. See you on the next one.